the date, July 28, 1996. The place, 60 feet beneath the English Channel off the coast of Devon, England. A fisherman was about to haul in his nets. His catch of the day would unearth a gruesome secret. Buried among the sea bass and crabs was a very... When John Kopak, a fisherman of 30 years, pulled a dead body on board, he had a decision to make. A floater is a bad omen. I can do one of two things here. I can pull this cod line and he goes back over the side and we go on fishing. Or we take him in, in which case the fish is going to be condemned. You're going to lose a day's wages. Brixham Coast Guard, this is a fishing vessel, Mal Kerry. I've just hauled my gear six miles east of Tynmouth and I've got a body in the cod ends. This is Brixham Coast Guard. Could you please stay at your position and we'll send some... ...from investors in Canada. He was on the verge of being caught, so he decided to flee Canada, and he took his 15-year-old daughter, Sheena, with him and disappeared completely, or almost. Walker and his daughter, Sheena, lived together in England as David and Noel Davis, man and wife. The Canadian police were ecstatic. We found Walker. We found Walker. Absolute excitement. One of the Canadian police decided to phone Walker's wife, Barbara, and it was very simple, very straightforward. We found Albert, and we found your daughter, Sheena. And by the way, congratulations, your grandmother. When Walker fled to England, he began working the same investment scams as he did in Canada and hired Elaine Boys as an executive assistant. Her boyfriend was Ronald Platt. When Walker no longer needed Elaine Boys' services, he paid for Elaine and her boyfriend, Ronald Platt, to move to Canada to start a new life together. With Platt, Walker invited Platt out on the Lady Jane for a day of sailing. With a blunt instrument, Walker knocked Platt unconscious with a blow to the back of his head. Blood and hair spattered onto the plastic bag. Walker then pulled Platt to the upper deck, where he slid the anchor under Platt's belt and heaved him overboard. Among the mistakes Walker made that day was failing to remove Platt's wristwatch with the serial number and using his boat's global positioning system which captured the location, date, and time of the murder. Albert Walker went on trial for murder. In a rare courtroom occurrence, Walker's daughter testified against her own father. At a stage in the trial, it came out in the courtroom. The boat had been used to murder him. It was really Ronald Platt who solved this case. And when he emerged from his watery grave, pointed his tattooed hand directly at his murderer, Albert Johnson Walker. And there'll be two more fascinating installments of The Medical Detectives beginning at 10 tomorrow. But coming up after the break, the man who looks more like a circus ringmaster every time...